Sunshine. Are you ready? This is taking my dreads out of my hoodie. And that's how many locks there are. Tucked into the back of the hoodie. Wagwan Nishan, I'm that guy. Not locks. Today's video, I am talking about wicks. Dreadlock wicks made widely popular in Florida. And there is a lady out there called the Wick Lady on Instagram, and she is a professional at making these wicks come to reality for a lot of people out there in Florida. Today's video, I want to talk to you guys about my interaction with her last week. I had sent her a message on Instagram asking her a few questions about the wick that I have started on the side of my head here with rubber band. And essentially, when I asked her what I would do next, because I've wicked, I rubber banded the bottom, she said, now all you have to do is close the ends here, meaning close everything that's beyond the rubber band, all this stuff. And I asked her, how do I do it? How would I close it? Because the only way I could think about it is using a crochet hook. Is that right? And she just said, yep. So, crochet hook is the way to go to making wicks. <clears throat> In order to close these locks, I would have to crochet a hell of a lot to get that closed. I've even thinking that they would maybe add hair in between it to help it catch. But I'm not really down for that. I, I can't see myself spending hours crocheting this lock just so it can be closed. I don't really care about them that much. At the same time, a crochet hook I feel like would damage my locks. It would really ruin the, the structure and the integrity of these dreads if I were to sit here and crochet them together. This, there's way more uniqueness in these locks separate than they are crocheted together. I'm fine with the rubber band on the new growth and as the new dread comes through, it's thicker and having all this loose still. I don't need to have a closed end. You can check out that dread ball that was there. You see that little dread ball? Woo -woo -woo -woo. <laughs> I don't need to have them closed off is what essentially is what I've actually realized. So I'm gonna show you guys her, her page here because it's still a pretty phenomenal Instagram account. Uh, and this is the Wick Lady, Florida's number one and only Wick Lady. And we can see here just how awesome her dreads are. You, know, you can see how tough her locks are, the before and the after. And she makes these dreads without rubber bands, without threading. So it's strictly crochet. Strictly crochet hook on on these hair now, of course, it's gonna take a long time still It's gonna be a long time before the, the, These ones are interesting to me She even managed to crochet a little patch of afro in the back of this guy's head Into four big clumps. I know I'm curious on how these are gonna lock up in the years to come this is a very unique way of growing dread just on the back of your head. A little different there. You know, seeing photos like this on this guy, you can really see how the dreads have come together. So a lot of crochet hooking happening here to make this, to make this so. I do like the look. I am a fan of the look quite a bit. Especially love seeing big thick dreads like this, but here's where I see it now is like this guy had some freeform locks here And now that they've been crocheted I don't think that they're really freeform anymore. Now. They're becoming crochet look crochet locks With a freeform base if anything This photo here is what really showed me that it was Interlocking uh, it says this is why adding hair is no good. Too much stress on the hair. Not good for the hair. It damages the same way as rubber bands and thread. Too much weight, not enough room to grow. And she took out a bunch of extra hair that was wrapped in the locks. 
Do we know anybody that has hair wrapped into their locks like this? Um, because I didn't realize that this was the actual. This is my first time seeing this as an actual process. And maybe it's still being used to combine and close these wicks. So I'm thinking maybe some hair is added in between the, the loose ends and then crocheted to help it all catch together. This guy's wick's looking pretty cool. They're standing straight up. All over the place. For me now, part of the reason why I actually don't think I would get wicks done in this manner, uh, uh, because of the parting on the hair. I don't really care to have parts on my scalp like this. There is some of them here specifically that actually look kind of painful to have your hair parted like this. Kind of reminds me of a turtle shell. Uh, like pictures like this, like this kind of looks like it might hurt a bit having so much scalp exposed. I'd prefer the afro and no scalp there. Um, I mean, there's so much content on her Instagram here. Tons of clients. And a lot of these locks here looking like turtle shells. Crazy to see how they will turn out in the years to come. A lot of her clients coming in with short hair as well. Wow, look at these blue, blue wicks. And the dreads were just blue before and then they were wicked up like this after. Very, very unique. Definitely looks pretty cool. We even got the kids getting wicks now. I love seeing that youths, youths are having free form locks these days. Pretty, pretty crazy to see that. And um, I mean, there's tons. There's another kid with wicks here. I like that look right there. That look is sick. There's some blonde wicks. Daytona Beach life. That looks sick. This is straight Super Saiyan shit right here. And then this is a natural wick. Freeform wick. These are organic wicks that don't require crochet locks. Uh, crochet hooks. I keep saying crochet lock today. Wow, look at these afros of dreads over here. So, I mean, I love this style the most for the wicks, the organic wicks. So, yeah, check out the wick lady. She's out there in Florida doing big things with a uh, crochet hook out there. Seeing lots. I like this wick, how it's been left open like that. That's pretty sick. That's kind of unique right there. I like the way that she did that one. What? That's awesome. You know, so good job. Good job on that. Crazy. Oh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I hope that I am not recording the audio from this ship. And yes, essentially Wix in Florida being highly, highly popular these days. My, motive, my minute of motivation today before I end this video off is regards to snoozing, snooze alarms, and waking up in the morning. If I have to set an alarm in the morning, I, I hit the go and I get up and go. For me, snoozing in just leaves chance for sleeping in. And uh, I'm a very punctual person where as, as is, if I am not 15 minutes early somewhere, I'm late. So I like to be early for everything I do, even if it's not demanded that I have to be early. I just like to be there early and set up myself so that I, there's no rush. Being in a rush state goes against, you know, my, my mentality of being at ease. You know, I want to live a stress-free life. So why rush everything? Um, 
So in the mornings, especially when I wake up, the first block of time in the morning of every single day, I always allocate for myself. Meaning, do you, you know, get your tea, have your breakfast. Today I wanted to make my video first thing. So I have this block of time to do myself first thing right away. Whether it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, you should have a block of time scheduled for yourself to do something routinely every morning that helps you be stress-free. Instead of waking up late in a rush and then having to go out and serve somebody else first thing, you want to have that block of time to do you right away so that your mindset is in the right place and that within that block in the morning, you can you can use it to use a daily progression uh, tactics where you have a goal set in mind and you spend 20 minutes every morning just trying to achieve that goal, taking another step further on that goal. Um, you can use that 20 minutes, you know, to do a little meditation, do a little workout, uh, make sure you have you get some good healthy food put into you right away in the morning. It's just important to dedicate that first block of time to you. It's you time right away when you wake up. And when you snooze and you sleep in, you miss out on that me time because you wake up with less time to do shit for yourself. So wake up an hour before you got to do anything and just kind of, you know, schedule block me time for yourself. Anyways, rambling here. It's not Locks Not Nation. I'm going to head out. I appreciate you guys watching these videos on a daily basis. And if you have any comments, questions, leave them down below. Smash that like button. Like, smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next Dreadlock update. Peace out. One love. Say happy and Nazi. I'm gone. Adios. Zaga! <laughs> <laughs>